For the archive this week, we turn back the clock 30 years. The 2A state championship game that year featured Sean Bradley and Emery versus Ryan Cuff and Richfield, two of the best high school basketball players in state history. But as KSL sports reporter Steve Cipher shows us, it was someone else who made the game-winning shot, a play that is still talked about to this day. The opening bucket by Richfield's Troy Brown set the standard. It would be a game of great shots. For Emory, Chris Wilson was hot, hitting for a trio of threes, but the Cats' Ryan Cuff scored from all over the court. He held a clinic with 20 points in the first two quarters. Sean Bradley, the Emory superstar, looked tense and tight with only seven points at the break. I was very nervous. I, before the game, I was throwing up and everything. I, I was super nervous. I had the jitters really, really bad. While he scored 10 of his team's 15 third-quarter points, dominating inside, Cuff didn't get a point in the period, and Emory led by five going into the final quarter. But Cuff and the Cats came back. Clint Henry cut it to two. Then Cuff, who finished with 43 points, hit the jumper that tied the game. At 73 apiece, it went to overtime. Emory and Richfield, Bradley and Cuff, duked it out for three more minutes. The Spartans led by four here, but with 30 seconds left, Cuff tied it up. With six seconds left, it looked like a third straight state title. An Emory offensive foul put Troy Brown on the line. He would hit them both to give Richfield an 83-81 lead, but Emory didn't call time. They got the ball to Gordon, the guy with five three-pointers in regulation. As soon as it left my hand, it looked perfect, man. It, I didn't know it was going to glass, but it looked good. So, heck, I was just praying it was going. I about uh, died when when Stephen took the 35, 40 footer down there at the end. I was going, oh, please let us win. I watched the ball go. I'm going, yeah, I went in.